Hello, this is Diana with Artfully Yours, and welcome. And I created this illustration for my friend's poem. I will be uh, reading the poem at the end of this video. It is the first of many poems which I will be creating for her poetry book. And um, all photos used are, are public domain courtesy of www.pixabay.com and I'm working with digital art collage so it's kind of based like on traditional collage if you were really to cut out find pictures and cut them out um, I'm finding pictures in public domain and um, digital making digital collage of them so here's step one I'm creating the background with a misty twilight um, that's one of the phrases in the poem is the whole poem takes place in, in a misty twilight step two uh, create where uh, create a place where two people are walking and I decide the beach is a good place step three continue creating this misty twilight. So I'm going around with a digital brush, it's like an airbrush, and creating this misty twilight. Step four, creating two hands reaching for each other, because that's another phrase that's in the poem. And again, I will be reading this poem at the end of the video. Um, I first start with these two hands reaching for each other but then decide that in a few minutes that the silhouette of hands are better. And right now it's very stark, very black and white, and later on I play with how whether that should be more gray tones or not. Step five, I'm experimenting with um, what, what face to use. So I'd had that one black and white face, and now I'm... Um, considering this gray toned face. Step six, I'm trying to symbolize, quote, before the dawn of time, um, because that's another phrase in the poem. She talks about before the dawn of time, and I'm deciding whether to symbolize that with a galaxy or with a landscape that you see here, a mountain range. Step seven, right, I still have to create before the end of time, I mean, before the dawn of time. Softening the edges there. Use that, use a smudge tool, digital smudge tool for that. And now you see it just grayed out. I'm, step eight, I'm adjusting the intensities of a color, size, and placement of different elements in the picture. I've grayed out some areas. I made now the galaxy. I made that um, darker and brighter, softening the edges again. Step nine, I'm fi I final, my final decision on the face that I'll be using. And step 10, the final decisions on color intensities. So here I'm still stark black and white with a silhouette of the hands. I have to decide if I wanna keep that black and white like that or uh, gray it down. I also grayed down into the background, the galaxy. I'm going around the edges now of the misty twilight, making more areas gray and white, whether they should be white or they should be more gray.
so I grayed that out those areas because it looks better that they're in the background and it gives the focal point on the face and this is the final illustration I'm showing parts of it um, some of it's cut off and so I'm going to start reading the poem it's called I hear I heard you I heard your voice from the misty twilight of of the dim my dimmest memories recognition stirred within the deepest recesses of my latent dreams from a space before the dawn of time, my heart replied, I knew you. I knew you then and I love you still. Stretch forth the hand, the spirit hand. Come with me so that we may share and know the secret of it, the secret of a universe that will show our true identity, friends and lovers throughout eternity. This poem was written by Lorena Johnson in 1962. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you, welcome back again if you're a subscriber.